Now we read this as square root of 8. We read this number as cube root of 8. So this is 3, hence it is cube root of 8. The next number is read as fourth root of 8. This is 4, hence fourth root of 8. This number is read as square root of 25. There is square 2, which we don't usually write. So it's written as square root of 25. This number is read as fifth root of 25. It is fifth. So hence here, fifth root of 25. The next number is read as cube root of 4. So there is 3, hence cube root of 4. Next number is fourth root of 10. There is 4 here, hence fourth root of 10. Now how could you write cube root of 6? Here we have cube root. So it will be cube root of 6. The next fifth root of 11 fifth root of 11. So fifth root of 11. And here we have square root of 8. Square root of 8. So square, it, you need not write the 2. Square root of 8. Okay, so square root of 25. Now we know that 25 is 5 into Five. There are two fives. So square root of 25 will be equal to 5. For the second sum, this is square root of 49. Square root of 49. Now square root of 49, we know 49 is 7 into 7. So we have two sevens, they will come out as one seven. So square root of 49 equals to square root of 49 equals to seven. Next is square root of nine. Now for square root of nine, we know nine is three into three. So we have two threes, one, two, that will be equal to 3. So square root of 9 equals 3. Now let's find what is square root of 121. We know 121 is 11 into 11. So we have two 11s here. So that would be 11. Now square root of 169. 169 is 13 into 13. So that are 13 into 30, that would be equal to 13. So under root of 169 is equal to 13. Here we will deal with cube roots. The first sum is cube root of 8. Now we know that 8 is 2 into 2 into 2 and since it is cube root we need to make groups of 3 so we have 1 2 3 which is now equal to 2 so cube root of 8 equals 2
The next is cube root of 125. Now cube root of 125. 125 is 5 into 5 into 5. And because it is cube root, we need to make groups of 3. 1, 2, 3. So that is equal to 5. So cube root of 125 equals 5. For the third sum, it's cube root of 343. Now, cube root of 343 is 7, 7, 7. Now we have cube root, so we need to make groups of 3. 1, 2, 3. So that will be 7. So cube root of 343 equals 7. So the next one is fourth root of 16. Now we know the division of 16. 16, when we divide 2, 8, then we have 2, 4, 2 into 2, and 2 into 1. So 16, fourth root for 16, we can write 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And because it is fourth root, we make, we make groups of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So equals to 2. The second sum, fourth root of 81. If we do short division of 81, so we have 3 into 27 is 81, 3 into 9 is 27, 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into 3 is 9 anyway. So fourth root of 81 is 3, 3, 3, 3, four times, 3, 3, 3, 3. And because it's fourth root, we need to make groups of four, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is equal to 3. Hence, fourth root of 81 equals 3. Now for the third sum, we have fourth root of 625. 625 on short division, 5s are, we have 125, it's 5 again, we have 25, 5 again, we have 5, and 5 and 1. So fourth root of 625, 625 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 5, 5, 5 and 5. Because it is fourth root, we need to make groups of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is equal to 5. Fourth root of 625 equals 5. Next, the fourth one will be fifth root of 32. Now, if you see 32, short division of 32 would be 16, 2 into 8, 2 into 4, 2 into 2 and 2 into 1. So fifth root of 32 will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2's. And now because 
because it is fifth root we have to make groups of five one two three four five and that will be equal to two so fifth root of 32 equals 2.